Did you know that glaucoma, glaucoma sorry, is the leading cause of irreversible blindness in the world? And as if that's not scary enough, there may be no symptoms in the early stages of the disease. So please welcome Dr. Katherine Friedel with Florida Eye Specialist to the show. Thank you so much for being here because that is a scary part of it. It mm -hmm. is. Thank you for having me. Now, so let's start off with what is glaucoma? Glaucoma is a very nasty and insidious disease. And before I can explain what glaucoma is, I want to talk a little bit about how vision works. Okay. okay. Your eye needs to communicate with the brain in order for you to be able to see. The same way you have a TV and a cable box and you need a cable connecting the two, mm -hmm. the eye has a cable that plugs in the back and runs up to the brain. Glaucoma is damaged to this cable. So if you don't have a cable, you're not going to see a clear picture on your TV. So I'm thinking, not to jump you, uh, interrupt you for a second, but if somebody's watching at home right now and they're thinking to themselves, is there something that I'm doing that could cause glaucoma and cause damage to that nerve? What could I do to be preventing it? And can you prevent it? Well, actually, what causes it, I guess? There's nothing in your daily life that can affect whether or not you get glaucoma, at least that we're aware of yet. But um, the most important thing you can do is get an eye exam. Or if you have a family history, get mm -hmm. a yearly eye exam. I was sharing you with my mom has glaucoma. Correct. So that's definitely something I'm very vigilant about getting. So when we look in your eye, we look at the head of the optic nerve. We don't see the whole cable. And in a normal eye, the head should look like a lifesaver fresh out of the pack. And I have a picture of what a person with a normal healthy lifesaver would look like. <laughs> so okay. someone walking in our office would see totally clearly. Okay. Glaucoma is like someone's been sucking on the lifesaver. You start to lose some of the tissue or the rim and the hole gets big. So in the next picture, what I'm showing is some moderate stage glaucoma. Oh. And this could have taken years to develop. You might not notice this. This is really far out in the periphery. What you will notice is the next stage. At this yeah. point, there's almost no lifesaver left. You're down to a teeny little sliver of vision. And when someone comes into our office saying that they're blurry or there's spots in their vision like this, the horse is out of the barn. We can't fix this. Is there anything preventative that you can do to catch it early? As I said, getting an eye exam on a regular basis can help prevent it. Okay, okay. that's important. important. So who is at risk? You mentioned people with, with a family history, which I do have that. Anything else? Exactly. So who gets glaucoma? Anyone could get it. A baby could get it. A youth really? could get it. An adult could get it. However, genetic predisposition, such as certain races, like family history, or African-American, Hispanic. It's more common when you get older, so if you're over the age of 60, you definitely need to have a yearly eye exam. Also, if you've had trauma to the eye, if you have diseases like diabetes, you wanna get an eye exam. And then what about different types of glaucoma? Are there different types, and do you uh, find are. them the same way? There Sometimes I've heard people with pressure in their eye, like a pressure is a big deal for glaucoma, mm -hmm. but it didn't sound like with the wire description, the cable description, that there was a pressure issue. I left it out on purpose. We used to think that glaucoma was just related to high pressure, but that's not always the case. Wow. So with blood pressure, everybody needs the same normal number, 120 over 80. In glaucoma, there can be different pressures where you get that damage to the optic nerve that looks like the lifesaver is getting sucked on. So your eye is always making fluid, okay? That's bringing the nutrients, the goodies to the eye itself. And if you pump fluid into a closed ball and you don't have a drainage system, the pressure is going to go up. People with glaucoma have a problem with the drain where the pressure can get high, the ball gets really firm, and that pushes on the cable or the optic nerve. And you asked about types. Mm -hmm. Some people's drain is totally normal in appearance and for whatever reason just isn't functioning like it should. Other people's drain is actually closed where the colored part of the eye is sitting too far forward and it's closing off the drain. Mm -hmm. And that actually brings up a really important point. In people who have closed angle, they can have what's called an acute attack. And in an acute attack, you'll have blurred vision, nausea, vomiting, and headache. And that's a big emergency. I've seen people go blind in a matter of hours. And we've got to wrap up. Can you give us just a, a brief how it's treated? Is it something they need to come in, see their ophthalmologist? and We don't have a cure, but we do have ways to treat it to prevent it from getting worse with eye drops, laser, and in some cases, surgery. But the number one and number two risk factors for going blind from glaucoma are not seeing your doctor or not doing what your doctor tells you. So if you've been told you have glaucoma and you need to see your eye doctor, you better get in there. All right.
Okay. Thank you, Dr. Bright. I'll be there. That's so interesting. No, thank you thanks for walking so much us for through that. Yeah, I it. All right, and thanks to Florida Eye Specialists for sponsoring the segment. And for more information, you can always visit FloridaEyeSpecialist.com or you can call the number there on your screen, 904 564 2020. 2020. How can you forget that?